Here we go. I've never been in this lake before. And it's probably about 10 minutes from where I live, so probably not much of an excuse for that, but see a lot of high grass in here. Maybe a foot under the surface. Probably not the best crankbait lake. But that's okay. Got one. I'm on. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Right on. That's fish number one. Not a bad one. Keeper size largemouth, that's for sure. Yes, sir. I will take this guy all day long. Nice fish. Heck yeah. Get my phone out here. Got it on my GoPro. Got it on my phone. That's what it's about right here. Never been to this lake before. Nice fish. Time to get this guy back in the water. Got blood in the boat, I guess. Man, this reel is not doing what I want it to. I've never had a problem with an Abu reel before, but this one, uh, yeah. Tell you what though, I'm kind of uh, kind of intrigued so far. It's not a bad bass I got there. Not a bad bass at all. At least, uh, I mean, I can't speak for for down south where they get some some monsters, but uh, no, that one wasn't bad. I would have guessed it about 15, 16 inches somewhere in there but a fat 16, 15, 16 inches. All right, this reel might wind up in the lake. It might wind up in the lake today.
I'm on. Little guy. Well, he's he's scrappy. He's a scrapper. I don't even need a uh, net for this. Well, at least I got the right uh, I got the right bait on today. I'm on there. That stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Stay down. Whatever it is, it's moving me. Eh, not a big one, but you know. I'll take it. That's three I've landed. Mid 60s at the the very lowest. Yeah. Well, I got one again. I got one again. Hey, he's a scrapper, but he's a little guy. Well, that is fish number four for me. I think I'm going to uphold a promise I made when I, uh, you're not going to see me do this much. Take off a lure that's working to try something. But that is exactly what I'm about to do. Right here. So this is something I never even thought about. This is a, this is a Johnson Silver Minnow. And uh, I saw it on, a, on actually Roland Martin's YouTube channel. And uh, he was talking about how this won the Bassmaster Classic one year. And all he did is put a little spinnerbait skirt on it. And I'm like, that looks killer. And, you know, if I'm fishing for pike or something like that, sure, I'll throw on a, I'll throw on a spoon. Other than that, not throwing on a lot of spoons for bass, I'll tell you that. Always got to adjust the bait caster every cast or every uh, every lure change. See how the silver minnow does. I am going to cast this guy a little bit smaller or a little bit, uh, you know. I guess what I mean to say is I'm going to reel a little bit slower here. And that's what it looks like when it's wet. Looks, looks killer see how she does well
you know, if you're on a lake and you're new to fishing and uh, you just don't know anything about it, try something like this. This is, uh, there's a lot of different names for it. I don't remember exactly what this one is. The one I'm most familiar with is a Berkeley Beast. This is a Texas rig. Th that's how I have this thing rigged. So I believe I have about, um, I want to say this is a, a, a quarter ounce bullet sinker right here. This is going to a red four out hook. I've always liked red a little bit more. It's what I go with. They also have regular metal, silver looking ones, chrome. Um, and I believe it's a, like a Berkeley B, something like that. Try it with that. Try it with a Sanko. Try it with some kind of worm. This is green pumpkin colored. You can never do wrong with that. If you throw something like this out, and if you fish it right, you're going to catch fish. There's no way around it. Something else like a crankbait might work better that day but you're gonna catch fish. Got one there. I'm on. Stay down, stay down, stay down. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Oh, he's a little dink. That's all right. That's okay. Texas rig, that's what I'm saying. Texas rig, it works. Maybe, maybe I'd catch more fish using a crankbait. Maybe not. Texas rig, you will catch fish. Hopefully we can get one a little bit bigger than this. Catching some dinks today. That's all right. I'm on and that is solid this thing feels great I don't know what it is but it feels great he's giving me a fight oh I'll take it another keeper well maybe not but it's close it's close I'm gonna lose him. Come on, guy. 